welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video we will talk about the complete in detail road map of how you can pursue the masters from any of the iits in india right again this video is requested by so many number of students so i thought that why not to create one so that it will be helpful for everyone uh, specifically for those students who are planning to go for the masters in the in the iits right so what are the major steps that you have to take care of and what kind of preparation is required how basically you can apply for the uh, masters all these stuffs we will try to cover up in this video right so let's get started uh with the very first part so here if you will see this is the overall process i would say for pursuing the masters in iits the very first step is the gate preparation so what usually happen is that in india whenever you are applying for masters whether in any iits or nits or any of the private colleges gate is the preliminary exam that you have to crack in order to apply for that right now it all completely depends on the percentile that you are getting in in the gate and the percentile of the gate usually depends on how many number of students are applying for the gate exam what is the cut off which is usually varies from the uh, from year to year from uh, you know for every particular uh, exam what is the competition what how, how much is the difficulty level sometimes it is very hard sometimes it is medium level sometimes it it, it is easy as well according to that when the exam is easy then the cut off will be very high when the exam is of very difficult level cut off will be low these kind of things usually happen now uh, whenever we are talking about the gate exam so it usually focuses on the fundamentals of every concepts that you will study in your bachelors suppose so you are preparing for a computer science uh, exam so whatsoever important subjects that we have for example operating system for example computer networks for example dbms for example engineering mathematics for example dsa so what are the fundamental concepts that we have for all these uh, subjects that i have talked about gate exam basically judges you on top of that so it is usually composed of uh, mcq based questions so the negative marking on top of that and i would prefer that whenever you are preparing for any of the competitive exam it's not only about gate it would be better that if we will go for a physical coaching because there the environment that we see the uh, test series will be there so that would be the that would be the personally i feel the best place to uh, go for that by saying that i have seen a lot of students who are doing a self preparation and is able to easily crack the gate exam but uh the best uh, feeling which i feel is that go for the physical offline coaching uh nowadays i think it's possible if i'll talk about the previous year might be that thing is not possible due to covid but now again things are reopening so you can prefer that according to your uh, uh thinking process according to your favor favorability right the second thing suppose you will be able to get a really good percentile by saying that your percentile should be greater than 99 percentile again percentage and percentile is bit different i hope that everyone knows this difference of percentage and percentile right uh, percentile usually depends on how many number of applicants uh, you have uh, you, in in your year whichever exam you are applying is sitting what's the competition level how many number of students basically are on top of that is what is telling by the percentile now when we talk about second thing after the gate exam now it depends on which stream you are applying and uh, which particular college you are targeting you might have a interview process where they can ask you the questions uh, related to the again fundamental concepts for example if you are applying for a ai domain so they can ask you the questions which is related to machine learning for example obviously when you show some in, uh, when you showed some interest in that particular domain why is that so what's the motivation factor so maybe four or five professors of that college uh, will take your interview and they can ask you the questions which is related, uh, related to the fundamentals of you know machine learning or ai if you are applying specifically to that domain right similarly for other domains as well and then they 
what's the purpose mainly they basically want to see that wh- whether you are highly motivated to work or do the research or not right because if you are not highly motivated then i would suggest this thing to everyone that if your purpose is to crack the placements and to go for a higher package jobs that you can easily do nowadays uh, by buying some courses and studying on top of that upskilling yourself and then you will be able to do the switching as well then why you are going for a two year masters you should have some motivation in uh, in in yourself then only you will be able to you know uh, take that seriously and you will be able to reach to some greater heights now at the very end according to your results of uh, interview your gate exam and how much cgpa do you have in the previous colleges uh, when you did the bachelors by seeing all those factors they uh, release the offer letter of yours right now in masters we usually have two years masters and three years masters so in three years this is uh, something which is of research assistant ra program is there and when we do for two years it's a, it's a ta teaching assistant so uh, basically what usually happened is that if suppose your gate percentile is not that much uh, so they can uh, give you instead of 2a program they can also sponsor you 3a program according to that you can just uh, think that whether you are highly motivated for the research or not again right uh, according to that only guide will also be decided now uh, as i already told you this thing that uh, whenever you are applying for a masters in iits the complete second year is devoted on the thesis part and when i am saying masters or by saying phd as well guide plays a very important role so choosing the guide preference is utmost importance whenever you're going for these kind of colleges your interest of work and his or her interest of work should really match so that you guys can be synced up with each other so that you will be able to you know uh, have a, commun- a communication in a better sense there should not be any communication gap right then only you will be able to learn and grow with your uh, professor so these are the few points which i want to talk about here your gate percentile should be greater than 99 percentile usually you get a stipend of rupees uh, 12400 uh, the major focus whenever you are applying for a uh, uh, masters is that you should think that i want to learn i want to do the implementation of some advanced concepts they always pre assume usually i would say most of the times this is what i have observed that they pre assume that that students already know the basic things so they may might be start from basics only uh, but they will cover up in a very fast pace because they pre assume that you don't know those things you, you you know those things sorry so that's why you should whenever suppose you will be able to get an offer letter and if you have the time in between try to have a good revision of all those concepts for example i am talking about dsa it might be the case that you are applying from uh, you are from ee stream and then you are applying for ai domain right this might can happen so at that point of time there might be an issue in order to avoid that what you can do you can just revise all those concepts on a on a previous uh, basis itself before applying to uh, before you know join any of the college after that the research paper thing is always a plus point in these colleges as uh, i mentioned in the previous video as well that research paper is not compulsory when you are doing a mtech 2 year program but it's always good to have because uh, it's a mutual benefit professors also want that your work will be published under his name or her name and you also have the benefit that okay now in your resume you can mention that you have the publications in the top notch conferences and even if you want to pursue phd after your masters that will help you a lot the cgpa part as well as the uh, research paper part that how many research papers have you published and in what kind of conferences have you published this automatically indicates that your work is quality work if it is published in a quality conferences right and networking is always a plus point here because uh, you know you will meet a lot of people there there are so many students who want to build their own startups then there are so many uh, friends of yours who are working under great companies like google microsoft amazon right it's very easy there you will be able to find so in future suppose as of now you want to go for a your own startup and you don't want to go for a job but in future if you have a good friends working there so 
instantly you don't need to you know wait for the nokri.com or any other website to ask for the uh, hr to uh, refer you you can directly connect with your friend and he or she can refer you instantly in good in, in really good uh, uh, jobs right whether it be any of the good uh, product co based companies or the startups you will be easily able to get the referral because you have a good networking now so this is the overall uh, road map i would say if you want to pursue the masters from iit first of all get very well prepared for the gate exam after that interview and after that you will be able to get a offer letter now uh, one thing which i want to say here that cracking all these stuffs might be easy but after that part also i have seen a lot of students after going to iit they dropped out uh, maybe in the very first semester itself because it feels sometimes so much hectic to us and we are not you know usually acquaintance with all these kind of a situations so at that point of time sustaining is also important not only cracking sustaining all those you know uh, initially it might feel the stress or the pressure also so we need to be very calm very patient at that point of time and we need to give time to ourselves so that we will be able to manage all these stuffs uh, pretty well right with this i would like to end this particular session hope you really get the insight about the road map of how we can uh, get into masters from iits and do let me know in the comment section what are the thing you want me to make a video for and uh, do share this video to everyone do subscribe my channel it would really mean a lot of a lot to me bye bye everyone see you all in my next upcoming video